Howdy everybody. Welcome back. Today we're gonna to be camping next to a pond. I got something special planned for dinner later. But first, let's get a fire going before I run out of sunlight. Well, just in time. And the stars are incredible out there. Ah. If I had any more firewood, probably still be out there. But I'm super hungry, so it's time to make our salmon dinner. Well, we learned after last week that we can't overload the power unit by using the induction cooktop and the air fryer at the same time. So I've been going back and forth about how I'm going to cook the rice and everything else at the same time and try to keep them as close to getting done at the same time. So what I'm going to do first is pull the induction cooktop out, steam the rice, and then as I'm steaming the rice, I'll get the fish and the veggies ready and then throw them in the air fryer and then I don't really care if the rice gets too cold it, it is what it is let's get the induction cooktop out hopefully it won't get stuck this time it's the cord that gets stuck We'll also need my pan and the steamer basket that comes with it as well. I guess the lid too. All right, here's the rice. So the plan is to poke some holes in this and then steam this inside the pan. It's actually a trick I learned from somebody else on YouTube. Um, but I don't know how to pronounce his name because he's, I believe, Japanese and he spells it in Japanese. So I don't know what it is. But shout out to him for showing me how to do this. So the first thing we need to do is put a little bit of water in the bottom of this pan. I 
I'm doing this just to freshen up the rice. I know it's not going to be hot by the time I eat it. Hopefully it'll still be a little bit warm, but I just want to freshen that rice up a little bit. Before I start that, I'm going to go ahead and grab the fish and veggies and get them ready so I can toss them in the air fry as soon as that's done. Got some squash. A nice piece of salmon. Alright, for this squash, I'm going to put a little avocado oil on them. And I've got this stuff, it's called Jane's Crazy Mix-Up Salt. So, um, a story about me is I used to be a pet sitter back in the day and one of my pet sitting clients had this and I cooked in their house quite a bit and I love this stuff. So I got this for the veggies. I was going to dirty up a bowl, but I'm just going to toss them in here. My OCD is calling me to use that bowl. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and get this steaming. Alright, let's move this out of the way for the fish. I'm just going to do some avocado oil and some Old Bay. And then right before I eat it, I'll probably squirt a little bit of lemon on it. I got a fresh lemon for that. this beautiful piece of salmon. I'm going to rinse it off a little bit real quick. Pat the fish dry. Let's check on this rice. Alright, so I took the lid off that rice. I feel like it's going to make it steam a little faster. So this packaging was meant for the microwave. I think it was designed for a microwave. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's working, so... Alright, let's get this rice out of here. Now we're ready to air fry. 
We got to get this thing rolling at 400. I'm stumped. I don't have enough room in that tiny air fryer for both of these. I think I'd rather my fish be hot than the vegetables. I think I'm going to cook the vegetables first. So after sitting here long enough waiting, I've decided to put a little bit of lemon pepper on my fish. Let's check on this squash. Alright, this looks done. Got this little parchment paper liner for the bottom. I'm just gonna use it since it's fish. I think we're there. We'll go ahead and get a plate out. Oh, wow. It's falling apart. Well, we did it, folks. We got us a nice salmon dinner and a minivan. Man, this looks good. Can't wait to try it. Let's give it a shot. simple and good mm. let's try this squash out pretty good the only thing is I forgot that squash is a little soggy and it doesn't get crispy so but they do taste good Get a little of this rice in. Oh, wow. That rice is fragrant. The rice goes really well with the salmon because it has that citrus kick. Not bad for a minivan. Mmm. Well, I'm going to polish this off real quick. It's not going to take long. I'm very hungry. I'll check with you guys in a little bit.
Well, that was a nice, healthy, late-night meal. I did make a mess, though. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. I just have a small sink. But I am about to watch My Lover, My Killer on Netflix in honor of Valentine's Day coming up. Not my kind of holiday. But, um... I'm going to check out that and see what it's all about and uh, chill for a little bit. Olivia stabs Gary again, this time with a potato peeler. And I said, why she done that? He says, because she wouldn't stop arguing about me going out. And that she wanted me to stop at the flat. Present in the room at the time of the attack are Olivia's son, Arthur, and his father, Thomas Hughes, who's visiting. I'm getting tired, folks. I mean, a little bit more of this fruit. Watch some more of this crazy-ass show. <laughs> Pass out. See you guys in the morning. said it before and I'll say it again these heating pads are lifesavers when it gets cold so I'm about to get up and get going I'm gonna continue yesterday's healthy trend with starting today with a healthy breakfast but we'll get a little tea going first get some breakfast made and then do a little fishing Let's get some tea going. So today we're doing glazed lemon loaf. So let's talk about last night. I was running behind all day yesterday. I bit off a little bit more than I could chew. 
so I wasn't able to fish but um, the fire lasted a while the stars were very bright and vivid the sky was nice and clear last night so I got some good stargazing in plus I could sit by a campfire for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours so I'm not too beat up about that but I do want to get a little fishing in I don't have a ton of time it's not necessarily fishing weather but I'm gonna flick the rod around for a little bit and then we'll head out but first I'm hungry so quickly we're gonna make some avocado toast Cheers. Alright, instead of regular bread, I'm going to use a bagel. Well, this isn't the prettiest avocado. Alright, so if there's anybody that's watching that knows me, you're probably going, he's not going to eat that. The avocado's too brown. And to that, I would normally say, you're absolutely right. But, I have nothing else to eat right now, and I'm very hungry. I'm going to give it a shot. All right, let's get some everything bagel seasoning on this. I'm hoping that this will save this. All right, breakfast is served. Avocado toast. Tastes fine to me. On a side note, I'm just realizing this is the first time I've ever made avocado toast. It's super easy, and I'll be making it again. Well, no shoe montages today. Got a bit of an emergency on my hand. So I use a plastic tote to carry my firewood. Well, it was empty and I left it out last night. The wind just blew it really, really hard. Over there. Looks like it's halfway open and it's sinking. So I'm going to try to go across that other side and uh, see if I can't rescue it.
Well, that was eventful. <laughs> I got it back though. Got a bite. Y'all see what about happened over here? <laughs> I almost went fishing for the chair. Good Lord. my phone from right off the edge <laughs> well that was interesting to say the least <laughs> um, I never said fishing was my forte I just have fun doing it it's not about the uh, catch right it's about fishing um, well I think that's about all I can do now folks it's about time to head out That's all for this one folks. I appreciate you joining me. Hopefully you'll stick around for the next one. I'll take it easy.